right so last class we discuss about sdlc today we are going to discuss about main topic as software testing uh, first of all what is sdlc activities such as requirement gathering and requirements prepared as drs and srs plan design coding testing release and maintenance and second guys everyone what are the sdlc activities are there such as requirement gathering and requirements prepared as a brs and srs plan plan design coding and testing and maintenance testing and maintenance this is sdlc activities once again requirement gathering and the requirements prepared as a brs and srs plan design coding testing and as well as release and maintenance who are collecting requirements from the customer business analyst and who are everyone who are prepare yes who are prepare a uh, plan plan will be prepared by project manager uh, design done by oh, sorry one minute <clears throat> plan will be prepared by project manager design done by architect team and also called as technical team next coding done by programmer testing done by testing engineer everyone uh, requirement gathering by the business analyst plan prepared by project manager design done by architect team coding done by programmer coding done by programmer <coughs> excuse me sorry guys from requirement gathering to coding who are developing the application same person review nothing but call as verification everyone once again from requirement gathering to coding who are developing the application from requirement gathering to coding who are developing the application same person review nothing but call as verification and and after that testing engineer testing on application nothing but call as validation once again guys software testing means it's a process of verification and as well as validation what is mean by the verification what is mean by the validation who will collect the requirement business analyst same business analyst everyone same business analyst review once they will collect the requirements from the customer same business analyst review whether requirements are correct or not and plan prepared by project manager once plan is done by the project manager before go to design same project manager review whether plan is correct or not and design done by architect team same same architect review whether designing is correct or not next coding done by programmer everyone try to understand who will collect the requirement business analyst now once it is done before go to the plan same business analyst review whether requirements are correct or not next once plan prepared by project manager before go to design same project manager review whether plan is correct or not once design done by architect team before go to coding 
same architect whether designing is correct or not and coding done by programmer everyone once coding is done by programmer same programmer review whether coding is correct or not are you clear my point so like that from requirement gathering to coding who are developing the application same person review nothing but call as verification and after testing engineer testing on application nothing but call as validation i hope you understood guys up to here everyone from requirement gathering to coding who are developing the application same person review nothing but call as verification after testing engineer testing on application nothing but call as validation nothing but call as what validation everyone nothing but call as what validation so what is software testing it's a process of verification and validation from requirement gathering to coding who are developing the application same person review call verification and also called as static testing and validation like a testing engineer while uh, after completion of coding testing on application nothing but call as validation the part also called as dynamic testing the part also called as what dynamic testing once again everyone software testing nothing but it's a process of verification and as well as validation so verification and as well as what validation yes and verification is called static testing and validation is called dynamic testing everyone verification is called what static testing and validation is called what dynamic testing and uh, why why verification is called static first of all one small example one girl one girl she is cooking something while cooking same person checking the taste everyone one girl she is cooking something while cooking sorry guys while cooking same girl checking the taste nothing but call as verification nothing but call as what verification and after everyone after after cooking new person they are checking the taste call as what yes nothing but call as validation everyone and <clears throat> once again software testing yes so testing engineer if you find out any defect definitely uh, definitely developer need to fix the problem developer need to fix the problem so like that it will be changed it is not static one it will be changing frequently it will be changing frequently so nothing but call as validation and also called as dynamic testing everyone what is software testing it's a process of verification and as well as validation so what is mean by verification what is mean by validation it's a process of verifying developing the application is right or not is called verification it's a process of validating the developer application is right or not is called validation and also called as dynamic testing and also called as what dynamic testing i hope you understood guys up to here and everyone what is our job i mean verification or validation give me your answer in chat box what is our job what is our job verification or validation <clears throat> what is our job
yes our job validation and also called as dynamic testing but in our class both i'll explain verification i'll explain and as well as validation i'll explain because everyone in our class both i'll explain verification and as well as validation because because validation our job but we we should learn about verification that's what both we can learn in our class verification we can learn and as well as <clears throat> validation we can learn everyone verification we can learn and as well as what validation we can learn i hope you understood guys up to here next everyone next software development models once again software development models based on the client requirement based on the project requirement software development models are classified into two types of requirements such as sequential models and as well as incremental models incremental models and also called as iterative models everyone once again software development models are classified into two types of models such as sequential model and as well as incremental model and also called as iterative model what is mean by the sequential what is mean by the incremental step sequential means nothing but step by step incremental means nothing but part by part everyone once again sequential means nothing but step by step incremental means nothing but what part by part whenever small size company small size project then we can go to sequential model whenever big size project big size requirement then we can go to incremental model and also called as iterative model once again software development models are classified into two types of models such as sequential models and as well as incremental model so whenever small size project small size requirement then we can go to sequential model whenever big size project big size requirement then we can go to incremental model and also called as iterative model what are the sequential models are there in the market such as waterfall model and and v model waterfall model and as well as v model what are the incremental and iterative model such as rad model and prototype prototype model and spiral model and agile models are best examples for incremental model <coughs> and also called as iterative model everyone once again software development models are classified into two types of models such as sequential models and incremental model whenever small size project small size requirement then we can go to sequential model whenever big size project big size requirement then we can go to incremental model and also called as iterative model i think you have one doubt sir we are testing engineers we should learn software development models right we are testing engineers we should learn software test i mean we should learn software testing then why we are discussing development models in our class are you able to give the answer for my question my question is we are testing engineers we are testing engineers we should test application but why we are learning development models in our class why we should learn development models in our class i'll tell you depending on development model <clears throat> our testing activities will be there understand 
depending on development model, our testing activities will be there. Yes, depending on development model, our testing activities will be there. That's what, first of all, we should learn about what are the development models in the market. How developers are developing. Depending on the model, we have to perform testing. Everyone, once again, software development models. Everyone, software development models are classified into two types of models such as sequential models and as well as incremental model. So whenever small size project, small size requirement, then we can go to sequential. Whenever big size project, big size requirement, then we can go to incremental model and also called as iterative models. So depending on development models, we have to test an application. Everyone, depending on development models, we have to test an application. That's what before test an application, we should learn about what are the development models in the market? So let's explain one by one, one by one. Once again, whenever small size project, small size requirement, then we can go to sequential. Whenever big size project, big size requirement, then we can go to incremental model and also called as iterative models. First of all, what is waterfall model? Uh, today and tomorrow, just we can discuss about development models. And uh, just understand, don't buy heart, okay? Just we should have the knowledge about that. So just understand development models in our class. First, waterfall model. I'll show you guys diagram. I'll show you that one minute. Okay, see guys, for example, uh, I'll explain about first of all, what is waterfall model? First today, let's discuss about waterfall model. Okay, okay. See, this is waterfall model. This is waterfall model. See guys, if it is a waterfall model, Everyone, if it is a waterfall model, try to understand first point. It is a sequential. It is a sequential model and waterfall model same as SDLC. Uh, SDLC what? Requirement gathering, plan, design, coding, testing and release and maintenance. Na? Everyone, release and maintenance. Na? Same. If you observe, same steps. So point number one, it is a sequential model. Point number two, everyone, point number two, it is a, uh, yes, it is a same as SDLC. And point number three, whenever small size project, small size requirement, whenever small size project, small size requirement in this model, all implementation activities will be carried out step by step. First of all, let me write about waterfall model. Let me write about waterfall model. Everyone, so what is waterfall model? Let me write, it's a sequential model. So uh, it's, I mean, when a uh, sequential model, it's same as SDLC. Same as what? SDLC, once again, point number one, it is a what? Sequential model. And point number two, same as SDLC. Same as what? SDLC. And point number three, whenever, everyone, whenever small size projects and requirements are clear, whenever small size projects and requirements are very clear, requirements are very clear uh, in this model everyone once again whenever small size projects and requirements are very clear in this model all implementation activities will be carried out step by step once again guys today we are discussing about waterfall model 
point number one it is a sequential model and same as sdlc whenever implementing small size projects and requirements are clear in this model all activities in this model all activities will be carried out yes in this model, all activities will be carried out step by step. All activities will be carried out what to what? Okay. Step by step. Yes, all activities will be carried out what to what? Step by step. Yeah. And waterfall model, uh, everyone, waterfall model, I mean, we discuss about software testing. Na? Software testing means nothing but what to what? It is a process of verification validation. But whenever following waterfall model, only validation verification not required understand my point software testing means it's a process of verification and validation but waterfall model everyone but waterfall model only validation required verification not required got it my point in in waterfall model yes in waterfall model so valid i mean only validation verification not required why it is not required I'll tell you, small size project, na, that's what? Verification not required. Everyone, small size project, na, that's what? Verification not required. Only validation required. I hope you understood, guys, once again. Small size project, na, that's what? Verification not required. Only validation required. One small example. One girl cooking food for one person. Another girl cooking food for 100 people. Whenever preparing food for one person, no need to focus on uh, that much from starting onwards because finally, if taste is not good, there is no big loss. But but validation, but validation, definitely. Uh, you, who I mean, uh, who are preparing food for hundred people starting onwards, you need to check the taste, or else big loss will be there. I hope you understood, guys. Up to here, everyone. So. Software testing means it's a process of verification and as well as validation. So, but in waterfall model, only validation. I mean, small size project now, that's what development time, verification not required, only validation required. So let me write in waterfall model, everyone, what required? Yes, only, only validation required. Only validation required. Which one not required? Verification not required. Everyone, only validation required and verification not required. I hope you understood guys up to here. Once again, waterfall model. It is a sequential model, same as SDLC. Whenever small size projects and requirements are clear, uh, all activities will be carried out step by step and only validation required, verification not required. So why why this model title as a waterfall? Because flow of activity look like a waterfall. Everyone, flow of, flow of activity look like a waterfall. So this model title as a waterfall model. Everyone, let me write flow of activity. Yes, flow of activity look like a look like a waterfall flow of activity look like a waterfall so this model titled as a waterfall model everyone this model titled as a what waterfall model once again waterfall model it is a sequential same as sdlc whenever small size project small size requirement then uh, we can implement all implementation activities will be carried out step by step and only validation here verification not required and the flow of activity look like a waterfall so this model titled as a waterfall model everyone this model titled as a what waterfall model i hope you understood guys up to here yes Next, let me, everyone, uh, what is the advantages here? Advantages easy, easy to understand and easy to use because step by step now, yes, easy to understand and easy to use, everyone, easy to understand and as well as easy to use. 
what are the disadvantages are there disadvantages one is you know not suitable for big size projects which were not suitable big size not suitable for not suitable for big size projects and everyone not suitable for big size and you know you know uh, main thing everyone main thing in middle of the project go back and changing requirements not possible for example guys collected requirements uh, 50 percent designing completed uh, i mean coding also completed uh, so now we are going to testing i mean almost 50 percent project is done middle of the project if client asking any changes cha uh, any changes in the requirements go back and changing requirements not possible small example i'll tell you a small example you are constructing one small uh, independent house. Already 60% construction completed. Suddenly client asking, pull up everything. Again, start from starting onwards. I want to change a new plan. Is it possible, guys? No, big loss. Same like that. Everyone, in middle of the project, go back and changing requirements are not possible. Once again, guys, in, in middle of projects, go back go back and changing requirements not possible yes in, in middle of projects go back and changing requirements are not possible once again guys not suitable for big size and in middle of projects go back and changing requirements are not possible so this is waterfall model so uh, who are developing small size project step by step then they will go to waterfall once again it is a sequential model same as sdlc and small size project requirements are very clear all activities will be carried out step by step only validation required verification not required flow of activity look like a waterfall advantages easy to understand easy to use and not suitable for uh not suitable for big size in middle of project go back and changing requirements everyone are you clear this model i need response are you clear this model Very good. Very good, guys. Now, let's discuss about next model as V model. Let's discuss next model as what? V model. Everyone, so what is mean by V model? Uh, before explain about V model, uh, let me take one paint application. I'll show you guys. See guys, uh, one question I am asking guys, as a testing engineer, when to start testing engineer job? As a testing engineer, when to start testing engineer job? I mean, after coding or before coding? Respond in chat box, everyone. After coding and before 
coding yes so many people i am getting the answers as i am getting answer as after coding okay then then i joined into one company i joined into one company they are asking i mean uh, uh, they are implementing one application they are implementing one application that application required everyone that application required minimum 6 months of time yes the application required minimum how long 6 months of time so my doubt is my question is in the 6 months what i have to do in the 6 months what i have to do In the six months, what I have to do, I'll tell you. That's what. Subject different, real-time work different. Real-time what happened, I'll tell you. But before explaining the V model, one small example, guys. One small example. I'm the carpenter. Everyone, just I'm the carpenter. Example. Uh, today, I confirm one project, one apartment construction. Uh, as a carpenter, my work will be start. Whenever 80% cement work is done, then only as a carpenter, my work will be start. Am I right? Okay. But... Today only they started construction. To complete 80%, they're asking six months of time. How long? Six months. So if I start my work after six months, then in the six months, what I have to do? So I have an idea. What is that? I'll take one building plan from the builder. Based on the plan, I'll estimate how much wood required, how many doors required, how many shelves required, how many windows required, how much designs required. I'll purchase the wood and in the six months, I'll prepare in the six months. I'll prepare all those designs. Once eighty percent construction is completed, directly I'll go there and I'll fix that. Directly I'll go there. I'll fix after six months. So here I can save the time, right? Testing engineer also same like that. Same means what? First of all, requirement gathering. Once gather the requirement, then prepare VRS and as well as SRS. First of all, requirement gathering. Once requirement gathering, then prepare what to what? BRS and as well as SRS. Once requirements are ready, you know, testing engineer, no need to wait up to completion of development. Based on requirements also, we can start our job system testing parallelly. We can start our job what? System testing parallelly. Once again, guys, everyone, once requirements are ready, based on requirements, they will prepare BRS and SRS. Based on the BRS and SRS, one side, developer developing the application. Developer will prepare plan. Developer will go to design. Developer will go to coding. And developer developing tester, parallel we can start system testing based on the same requirement. Then you have one doubt. Sir, without completion of development, what we can do? Without completion of development, we can start parallelly testing related documentation preparation such as test plan, test scenario, and test cases. Test cases like that. Testing related documents we can prepare. Everyone, once again, once requirements are ready, based on the requirements, parallelly, one side development activities and one side testing activities parallelly they will implement that everyone one side development activities and as well as one side testing activities so after completion of code then of course programmer will perform unit testing yesterday we discussed na? programmer will perform unit testing and programmer will perform integration testing and and system testing and finally user acceptance testing finally what user acceptance testing once again guys try to understand everyone requirement gathering a v model and that to waterfall model only validation na. v model both will be implement parallelly verification and as well as validation verification and as well as what validation once again guys 
V stands for verification and validation. Once, everyone, once requirements are ready, based on the requirements, parallelly, based on the requirements, parallelly, develop, developing the application and parallelly, testing engineer, testing the application. So, uh, here we can save the time and testing team, we can start before activities that to see guys, uh, waterfall model only validation now, but in this model, both parallelly will implement, verification will implement, validation will implement. So ensure 100% customer satisfaction. Everyone, once again, V stands for verification and validation. And in this model, based on requirements, we can start testing activities parallelly. V stands for verification and, and validation. Everyone, validation. So based on requirements, along with development team, once again, based on requirements, along with development team, <clears throat> everyone, along with development team, parallelly, yes, based on requirement, along with development team. So testing can start, testing can start activities. What are the activities can start? Such as, everyone, what are the activities can start? Such as plan, and design and coding and testing. I mean, uh, sorry, not like this. I mean, prepare test plan, such as what to what, test plan, and as well as test scenarios, and as well as test cases like that. Prepare all documents parallelly. And we can save time also and ensure 100% customer satisfaction everyone ensure 100 percent customer satisfaction satisfaction uh, by performing verification and as well as validation one question guys one question if you join any company if you join any company if you want to implement small size project uh, which one you will prefer i mean waterfall model or v model which one you will prefer V model, everyone, V model, yes, why V model? It is a waterfall model. We have to wait up to completion of coding. But V model parallelly they are implementing. V model what? Parallelly they are implementing. Yes. Parallelly they are implementing. So we can save time. And waterfall model only validation now. But V model everyone. V model both. What are the both? Verification and as well as validation. Yes, verification and as well as validation. Understand guys up to here? Yes. So here, uh, that's what so many companies who want to ensure 100% quality, they want to go to everyone who want to ensure 100% quality, they want to go to only yes they want to go to only what validation i mean v model yes i hope you understood guys up to here
Okay, everyone. What is advantage of save? Uh, we can save time and ensure hundred percent customer satisfaction. We can save time and ensure hundred percent customer satisfaction. Yes, we can save time and ensure hundred percent customer satisfaction. Next, everyone. Next uh, disadvantage, same, not suitable for small size of the company. I mean, not suitable for small size of the company. Yes, not suitable for small size of company. Is it right? No, not suitable for big size. And the main, same, this one also, in middle of the project, go back and changing requirements, not possible. Everyone, in middle of the project, go back and changing requirements, not possible. I hope you understood guys up to here. In middle of the project, go back and changing requirements, not possible. Are you clear guys up to here? Yes, I want to ask questions guys. Give me answer, uh, give me reply in chat box. Question number one. Question number one. Uh, waterfall model, V model, both are sequential model or incremental model? Waterfall model, V model, both are sequential model or incremental model? Yes, all are sequential model. Next. Everyone, next one. Yes, next question. Uh, what is software testing? Good. Verification validation. And one more validation also called as what?
Yes. Thank you, yes. Thank you so much. Remaining, we can continue tomorrow. Same time, same link. Don't miss the class, guys. Don't miss the class. Class very, very important. Don't miss that. Thank you, guys. And uh, these two minutes, I'll wait to clarify your doubts. Anyone, if you have any doubts and questions, you can ask me. I'll clarify that. If you have any doubts and questions, you can ask me now. You can, uh, yes, for automation, please contact the management. Yes, yes, I'll share the notes uh, soon, guys. No worry. Release uh, after development coding application release to the customer. Certainly with Java, we can learn. Uh, waterfall model, small size project, that's what we can't change requirement in the middle of the project. Yes, within two days, notes will be shared. Within two days, notes will be shared. Yes, Kavya. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. We can continue tomorrow. Same time, same link. Don't miss the class. Okay.